and grow YouTube show. Why do you think nature and love are such best friends? Why do you think it's so easy to access your heart center around plants? Well, I think we're made of love. Yeah. We come from love. We're the stuff We're that we are the original substance of life itself. Yeah. And I think there is a purity in nature. I mean, my belief system is such that like, you know, I think the divine mother mm -hmm. is embodied is ever generative and all the creativity that is nature. And she is here to, we are of her. Yeah. So, you know, I used to think of myself, you know, I always think of myself as an environmentalist, but that, you know, I'm living on the land in harmony. Mm -hmm. And now I feel that I live because of the land. Mm. It's like, I'm living on it. I'm living with it. No, I'm alive because of the car I drive, the child that I gave birth to, the, the man I'm in love with, the computer that I write on is all from the mother. All of this comes from her body. My body is made of her body. The soil, the ground, the, the ether, the, the fire that keeps my digestive system going. Like everything, you think of anything that you have or experience in your life, it is because of the creative substance of Mother Earth. That's it. You cannot argue this. She works in concert with the mystery of the universe that keeps us alive and, you know, where it gives birth to us. But um, so I feel that to turn to nature for answers, for restoration is to go home. I want to go home. I think we all want to go home. We want to rest in love. We want to feel connection and seen and belonging. And that's the experience I think we get in nature, just like we're here with a pulse. I think there's so much illusion on the planet whether it's the illusion of filters on Instagram or it's the illusion that we have to earn our keep or what worth and self-value is, you know, the, you know, in Buddhist thought, it'd be like, this is the Maya. This isn't even real. We're just playing roles down here. But I think that nature is very real. I think nature is like, um, it's the genuine part of the plot down here. So my relationship is such that, I mean, this is very, this is like the subtleties of practice, my spiritual practice, but, and some of this is training, you know, like spent, spent some time with some indigenous elders and the practices when you turn to nature for, for healing, whether you're going to go hug a tree or you're going to smoke some peyote or go for a swim, you always give thanks first. Yeah. And then you ask for support and she wants to support you. She is this battery pack to rebalance our nervous system. So I will, I go for my walks. I give thanks for being there. And then I hug the tree. One of the most powerful nourishing spiritual practices I have is to align my spine with a tree. Sometimes it's just like one minute, not even a minute walking through the park. I'm just like, oh, this is a good one. Stand up straight, lean back give thanks, breathe, feel all that energy up my spine. Mm. I love praying when I swim. Um, and I, I also approach, for me, um, I would put essential oils in the category of plant medicine. Mm -hmm. And plant medicine is like a real kicked about term now in the personal development space. Mm -hmm. Right. So for me, plant medicine is not going to do ayahuasca mm -hmm. at the moment. It is, I'm going to work with the energy frequency that is lavender. Just like every, every person has their own skill and healing capacity. Every plant has its own healing capacity. And that's how I work with my oils. I don't just think, Oh, smells good. Just think, okay, this is another being with a certain set of characteristics that I'm going to work with today. Absolutely. When I was doing, it's interesting you bring that up with oils. Um, when I was doing research for my book and I started learning about Hinoki oil um, and all of the medicinal properties. So in Japan, there's uh, 
forest medicine is like a practiced uh, healing prescription in Japan and in several Asian countries. And um, the healing properties of this Japanese tree, Hinoki, uh, there have been all of these really interesting studies done by scientists that if you sleep with it diffused, um, you know, in your bedroom, it can increase cancer fighting cells in your body. Like there's wild stuff that's coming, but it is because I think we're intrinsically designed to be around these trees and around these plants way more than we are. And so I think our bodies also respond so positively when we're exposed to them in the way that we used to be so much more naturally, you know, we just have to like work a little harder to, to find that connection. To get there, yeah. 